So you got yourself a fire stick, but you're getting bored with all the applications that you're limited to. You're ready for something new and something better. Well, I got you. In this video, I will teach you the new app download method for your fire stick. So let me show you how. So by following this tutorial, you'll have access to a library with exclusive applications for your Fire Stick. This library recently got updated with a newer interface and runs much smoother. And no matter your level of experience, this journey is for everyone. All you have to do is follow each step carefully and fully till the end for the best results. And don't forget, if you find any value in this video, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go on our home menu all the way in the top right corner where you see the settings gear and you want to navigate down and click on my fire tv and here you have a few options we're going to go into the about menu and again a few options here we're going to go ahead and click on fire tv stick it might say a different name for you depending on your model but just click seven times on it to confirm you want to become a developer so after seven times you're a developer and you can press return on the remote control and you will see the developer options appearing We'll come back here in a bit. Now you can just press the home button to return to the home screen and we're going to search for an application. Go to the search magnifier, navigate down and click on the search bar. It's going to pop up the keyboard and we're going to go ahead and search for an application called a downloader. There you see it already in the suggestions. So it's going to be this application right here. Click on it and one more time to confirm you want to download and install it. Now just wait patiently. So it's done. You can go ahead and open it up. First time you open it up, it's going to pop up a message to allow access. You have to allow it or else you can download applications from here. You can confirm this menu also. And here you have a search bar again. We're going to pop that open. But before we continue in this app, we're going to press the home button. And we're going to go to the settings gear on our top right corner. Go and scroll down. Click on my Fire TV. Here you have a few options. This time we're going to go into the developer options. And you got to make sure that you have ADB debugging toggled on like I have right here. Then you want to navigate down, click on install unknown apps and you want to toggle on the app we just downloaded. It's going to be downloader, press the home button and we're going to go to the download app. We just downloaded under our apps. It's going to be all the way down. There you go. And now we're going to click on the search bar. It's going to pop up a keyboard and we're going to type in a code. The code is going to be four, seven, five oh five seven go ahead and click on go it's going to load up a page for us and you're going to get this menu sometimes you get it sometimes you don't it's a bit uh, annoying but you got to hover over the agree my head is in front of it right now but just navigate yourself through it with left and right and up and down click on it and now it's going to load up the web page and it's going to connect to the app it's going to automatically download it for us and it's going to pop up this menu. So here you have to hover over the install button. How I do it, but if anyone has a better tip, please let me know, is navigate down and then to the right and then confirm to install. I don't know why it's like that, but it just is. Um, and now it's installing the app. So we're almost there. This is going to be the library I talked about. And it has some special functions. Let's, uh, before we open it up, press the home button again. And we have to go one last time all the way to the top right corner, hover over my Fire TV, click on it, return back if you're already here, um, go into the developer options, go to install unknown apps, and you want to fi find the app we just downloaded. So you want to toggle that one on also. Now, after you've done that, press the home button and go ahead and find it. It's going to be under apps all the way down. There you go. So from here on out, you can see everything very good. Um, I'm going to try and describe it as good as possible first of all you will get a uh, pop-up message you can read that and press ok after that you can you'll have a few options uh you'll be hover you will be highlighted over the menu if you navigate down once you can click on add a store and then you can give a store code so the store code of today is going to be android tweaks so as you can see how i type it you just do exactly the same and it's spelled a bit different. So it's going to be Android without the D tweaks. There you have it exactly like this. And then you can press next and you can click on add. Or did I just click? I just click cancel. So um, it hovers over the cancel. It highlights cancel instead of uh, store. So just do Android tweaks again. Droid tweaks. So, you know, if you make that same 
error that I did, you didn't highlight install. So press next. So currently we're on the console. So press right and now it highlights add. Let's click on add and you have successfully added the store Android tweaks. So then we go to save stores and then you will see Android tweaks. You have to scroll down to highlight delete and then to the right to highlight open. And there you go. So now we're in a library where you have access to exclusive applications. Again, you cannot see this very clearly, but it has lots of features, live content applications, on demand content applications, but even adult content applications. So you have enough of choice here, test them out, see which one fits you. But what makes this library so awesome is that you can also access other libraries without a store code. So that means if we press return right now, you'll be taken back to the home screen of this application. So you'll have a few options, add a store, saved stores, or even public stores. So the public stores, you can access any store that is registered publicly. Click on it. So in here, you'll see all the applications available in this library and you can sort them and filter them out. What I like to do is to go change updated new to old to download it high to low. So then you will see a menu of applications filtered on the most download applications. So that gives me an indication if a lot of people download this app right here, it must be somehow good. We can download it, install it, and test it. So before I show you actually how to download an application, which is very easy, I highly recommend you checking out a VPN because just to be safe, even if you use any of these methods or not, for everyone, I recommend getting a VPN. You have two options. Go for a free version like Proton VPN or a paid version, which is the best in the world called NordVPN. And we have a special discount in the description. Check out this quickly. In some countries, you might need a VPN to make this work. That being said, unlock a world of online freedom and security with NordVPN by using our exclusive discount code. This will give you ultimate privacy, access to all content and much, much more. Check out the discount link in the description. So there you go. And to install an app, it is very easy. All you have to do is find the app you want. So I'm going to test this one out right here. Again, you cannot see it clearly, but click on it. It will pop up the menu to download and install an app, but you will be highlighted on cancel. So navigate to the right. It's going to highlight download. Click on it. It's going to start downloading the application pretty fast and just wait for it patiently. After that is done, it's going to pop up this menu right here and you can hover down and to right and hit install. And that's how easy it is, folks. There's nothing left to say and it's done installing. So I believe that being said, this video has come to an end. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Leave me some feedback and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.